morning for a very tired looking field and we have a vlog going today there's Simon and it's back up hello Julie we've decided to get some smoothies to see if we can re-energize ourselves off a heavy day of drinking at YOLO's it was wasn't it yeah and thanks it yeah, there was a lot of drinks involved. And then a lot of different types of drinks as well. And then obviously we went to that. Irish one. Well, it used to be Irish. It's not anymore. It used to be called the um, Anchor, but it's Wiki Wiki now. I've been there. I've been there twice. Unfortunately, I'm not going back. It's the drinks are flat. Um, I came here in November. It's exactly the same. So um, I sound miserable. So we'll see if this movie can make me happy again. See you in a bit. And free smoothies done. And I'm not gonna lie. I feel better. So what do you think of your smoothie? I know you're not a fan of icy ones normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if it was made more of fruit juice and frosty, I'd eat it. See, I love it I like, like it. this. I like it like this. And Julie, okay. what did you I, think of yours? Do you feel like you got more energy now? Yes. Anything yes. else you need to do? <laughs> you need a toilet. Oh, <laughs> it's gone right through me. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, as I say, if you're always wondering, I'm always here. It is the Cafeteria San Borodon, I believe, right at the back of the Part Santiago Free. So if you're on the Golden Mile, come downstairs and go straight through the Part Santiago. A lot easier. They do food, drinks, smoothies. They never put the smoothies menu on the table. It's always over there. But you get all your food. See, all different types of drinks as well, alcoholic plenty of choice always a place i love coming to and i suppose the next time i'll be here it will be with um sergeant crybaby danny okay it's me simon and julia walking down the golden mile i haven't got the gimbal out unfortunately but i just remembered andrew chat great man by the way um asked me to do something for his daughter the zara shop on the golden mile so obviously it's not too far from baker's grill as you can see sorry if it's a bit bouncy Shouldn't have been lazy, I should have got the gimbal out. We're just walking down this way. I never take any notice of the shots on this side. That used to be, that was a, an arcade, right? Really. Yeah, I, I knew it wouldn't last super long. Secret hidden uh, supermarket. Well, it's slowest. That could be a, a, I'd reckon that would be someone who sold houses or something. I don't really walk this side, so it's, it's a bit of a weird one actually when you think about it. Normally I'm down the other end. So obviously this is its family garden. Never stayed here. I've never found anywhere where to book it, Jerry. So I've never even looked into it. Anybody made a vlog on it? See, that puts me off. If they haven't vlogs, I can't check a hotel up. It's a family garden. I've just got to cross over the road. Wait for the coach not to smash into me. I can't see past it. There we go, nice and empty though. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet, still getting over last night. <laughs> sunglasses hut is here as well. I think he bought some sunglasses from there last time I was in Tenerife. Sorry not to. Very interesting. So, you're looking for the Vista Sur shopping centre, it's literally just there. So, that'll get you down to the nice golden sand beaches of Los Cristianos. But here is Zara. Now, let's find out if they let me record inside or not, or if they have a go at me. There's two floors to this. I'm not 100% going down to the bottom floor. I'll stay on the top floor, but there's two floors. You can get an elevator down. I'll show you where it is. It's just that I don't want to push it too much. There we go. Zara. Here we go, Andrew, for your daughter, I am in the Zara. So, as you can see, they've got all the winter stuff out now. So I'm not sure what she'd be after. Plenty of stuff on here. Plenty of choice, different ways in as well. Changing rooms. And if you want to go down to the lower level where it has men's and children, that is just here. 
you take this elevator down to the secret lower level. You can take the steps as well, as you can see. But why would you? Why would you? So there you go, Andrew, mate. I hope that's good enough for you, mate, and your daughter. As you can see, it's very busy on the promenade walking down at the beach here at Las Vestas Beach. But as it's a bit overclouded today, generally the beach is pretty quiet. Yeah, apparently. You'd have a good swim today, people, but as I say, if you look around here, everyone's up here, but the beach, there's literally nobody. So it would be a great day on the beach, I think. I don't know, but we are in the Chieftain, everyone, and we're here for a Sunday roast. And you're having beef as well, aren't you? And mushroom soup or something. Bread and mushrooms. I don't know what she's having. I'm having prawns for my starter. He's not having a starter. He's going for a mains with beef and your dessert was very nice in here. Old school Irish one. I always love it in here. This is where I do usually come for a Sunday roast. I've never had a problem in here. I'm a bit more expensive than others, but also their breakfast is a bit more expensive, but it's one of my favourite breakfasts here when it's done perfectly. So we'll just wait for the food and you'll see some of that. Food. Okay, Simon's not having a starter, so our starters have grown. Carmel, I've got my prawns. What's the bread for, Simon? Uh, nah, not for me. Prawns in the mouth. So we're going to eat away, and then hopefully, not too long, Simon will get some food as well. Okay, the food is here. Simon looks happy. Julie's said she doesn't want it. <laughs> no, nah, don't so. We're going to eat now. We had a lovely beef, all three of us. We decided to have the same thing. So it's get stuck in, in the chieftain. I'm half asleep, I'm not gonna lie. I am so tired, it's unbelievable. Right, I just quickly wanna say, I enjoyed the roast, but I've had to leave. I've got this nagging headache today, it won't go away. A bit of back pain as well, so it's usually all together. Um, I'm drinking fine, I'm eating fine. I just think I need to sleep. I haven't sat much in the last few days. So I think being my age, it's fine to catch up with me. Loved the meal though, the chieftain. Good Sunday roast. Uh, I love the prawns. Simon's having a dessert. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see that now because I'm going back to have a nap so we can go out tonight again and I'm full of energy. But um, yep, loved it again. So just a nice little walk to the HD. Christabel it was just there. Walk down this. So it was an easy walk down. I'd never walk up it. But walking down it, and it's a nice little shortcut from the Chieftain. The other sports bar on that. And it gets me back to where I need to be. And nice and quick. Um, generally, I would say to people, if you're not really good with hills, just walk around, go that way. It's a very, you know, low hill. It's not steep, so it takes a few more minutes, but it's a lot more easier. So we walk that way to that area, but then we always walk back down this way. Uh, plenty of stuff around here, but I needed a, a good Sunday roast. I don't think they've ever had one out here, Julian and Simon. So it was nice, and maybe I'll ask them a bit later what they honestly thought of it once they finished. I mean, I've got to do a vlog as well after my sleep of all the bars and restaurants what are outside the HC Crystal to try and give people more of an idea what's around the resort as well. So I am just watching the incredible Wilsons. They're doing a live as I record this, but I'm at the beach at the same time. So Gaz, when you see this, I was on your live at the Tenerife Beach in Playa de Las Americas. Is it Playa on the Detroit Beach? Very empty in the evening. It's just very nice look at that. Shame about the clouds because we've got a beautiful sunset tonight. But it looks absolutely stunning. I'm going to head back to the hotel soon though, everybody. Because I'm going to meet Simon and Julie, I'm starting to feel better. I, I took out on one of them powder things for when you're dehydrated. I said to Simon, I've got a fur mouth, tongue, I should say. To me, that's usually a sign that I'm dehydrated. I never used to notice it about two years ago. But um, I took it. Went out for a walk, did a recording. Looky, looky man, tried to give large to me. Um, answered him back, unfortunately I can't put it in the vlog because he swears, silly twat. <laughs> but I wasn't having it, don't let him bully you. Most of them, the nicest people on the planet is a few absolute idiots. Um, went for a Mackey D's here, got some loaded fries and a burger and an ice cream. Full of energy, but gotta get off this because gotta keep up with the incredible Wilsons, a fantastic family. Go and subscribe to their YouTube channel they are pros compared to me to go and watch their stuff they come to Tenerife a lot and they've told everyone now so I can say it they're gonna be back late March to Tenerife so they're gonna have some fantastic vlogs out there and it's quite fun that we've all become good friends and it all started because of YouTube but I'm gonna start heading back now I just wanted to show you the beach a bit longer 
I just wanted to stand here and look at it. Absolutely stunning. I have to fly home tomorrow. Very short break. And that's the only problem with these very short breaks. You don't have time to take this stuff in as much as you'd like. But I can tell you now that November of this year, for two weeks, I am in Tenerife. For two weeks. I am back at my home, the KN Columbus. So if you're interested and you want to see me, I will be out here for two weeks again, late November. I'm also out here for my birthday. Uh, oh, it's the 45th, I'm getting so old, people. <laughs> so that's it. Anyway, just thought I'd give you these lovely little views. I'm gonna head back now. We're back off to Buddy's again tonight. Loving the cocktails there. I think my two favorite bars now in Tenerife are Buddies and Los Cristianos and then Yolos are uh, Las Americas and Lotoviscos, I believe it is. Los Toviscos, I'm not 100% sure. All three of them, favorite bars, love them all. Love the owners, love the drinks, love the atmosphere. Both different from each other. The Yolos is a sports bar, very sports. And um, Buddies is a smaller, more like a entertainment, more family friendly type of bar. But Buddies is family friendly as well before I. Buddies is family friendly, Yolo's is family friendly. I don't want to get myself in trouble here. They're both great. Go and check out all three of them bars and say Epic Phil sent you. Of course, Yolo's is brilliant for sports and Buddies, well, it's a Night Strider and Laura's. What else can you say? You're not going to believe this, people. Now, as you all know, I didn't eat earlier McDonald's. So we're going out to Buddies. Look at these two. Mackie D's. I got nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Here is three euros fifty five for double cheeseburger. One euro fifty for a cheeseburger. Get two cheeseburger cheaper. Save money. Save that five cents. Fifty five cents. Okay, whatever. I've, I've one euro ten if you buy four. Oh, Julie. What did you think of your aqua drink they had? And where are we off to now? Buddies. Fair enough. Let's see, told you, nothing. Just, they've made me sit here and make them watch me. Disgusting. Oh, the queries is crap. Oh, the language, people, the language. Future Phil here. Basically, I forgot to do an ending to that vlog on dehydration day. So here it is. Thanks for watching it. Comment, subscribe, and like. And as always, stay epic. Good to see ASO, wasn't it?